what is up guys today we are going to be hitting the big water and then hitting the little water we're going to catch everything from the smallest fish to the biggest fish to some of the coolest fish hopefully um stay tuned watch i hope you guys like it and uh yeah it's gonna be good what is up guys we're right here on the big beautiful white river and we got some catfish baits out we got some sturgeon baits out we got some freshwater eel baits out and we're digging around in the meantime and I just busted a nice little large, nice pretty guy. I thought it was going to be a big spot, but this guy will do for now. I'm going to go grab my chest mount and get you guys set up so you can see what's going on. I had a couple really nice catfish bites. Missed them because I didn't tighten my drag, so stay tuned. All right, we just got that largey release. We're going to get back to jigging. I caught that dude on four-pound mono. I got this little Bobby Garland jig on. It's a very clear-colored jig because the, the White River today is very clear. Got a crappie magnet jig head on there. I like how they fall pretty decent so let's see if we can get back on another fish i caught this guy right off this bank behind this little cut where it's swirling so oh, that wasn't a cast worth it they're sitting just off the ledge in the deeper water from what i've seen get it down there and jig it back through there he is that's another fish guys yeah the bluegill down there wigging out. I hope you guys see him in the clear water. Look at that brim. Almost an eater. If not, it'd be a good flathead bait. Nice little bluegill, Bobby Garland jig, crappie magnet jig head. Bam. You wanting this one? Uh, you want to keep the bait? No, are you, are you keeping eight? Nah. All right, I'm going to let this guy go. Sweet. That's what pulled my jig down. I'll help you down. I'll catch you if you fall, I promise. I about made, couldn't make it over there. Damn rocks are wobbly. No kidding. I've, I've offered him money. I have. I was like, dude, I'll give you like 10 bucks let me fish off that ramp or off that duck. And he was like, can't do that. I'm like, why not? The only place I regularly can maybe catch sauger is like the BFW when the water's right. Yeah, that was the biggest sauger I think I've seen. What's the picture of the one you showed me? I've caught one that's like a pound and a half, but. He ate a square bill? And he wanted it. Oh, that's a crappie. That was a crappie. Yep, that was a crappie. God dang, that was a black crappie. Did you? Caught him right along these rocks. Yeah, that was a crappie. Just so you don't catch one? Yeah. It wasn't a keeper crappie by any means. Oh, I got thumped again, dude. I got a good little spot right here. I'm also fishing off the shore a little bit, letting it sink all the way down. I think that's what I'm using is Bobby Garland. Yeah. Yeah, no, not the crappie magnet. To be honest, I like Bobby Garland better, dude. Oh, I missed him again. It's a finesse profile. There he is. Oh, it's a crappie. It's an eater crappie. Looky there, guys. 
crappie do exist in this river. I was beginning to worry. He's a short, fat guy. Look at those jeans he's got. Good lord. How are you fitting in britches? He is not going back. There he is. It's another, oh, it's a bass. It's a good bass. Don't run me into the metal. Oh, goodness. Spotty. Yeah, that's a pretty spot. If I can grab my line. Wow, oh, and the hook just came out. Guys, look at that beautiful spotted bass. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Gorgeous fish, Bobby Garland jig, guys. It's getting it done. Bobby Garland, sponsor me. Got some cut bluegill out there. It had some attention earlier, guys, but it ain't getting very much love now. Oh, I caught the rope. Son of a biscuit eater. Oh, found another crappie. Yep. A little small, though. I don't know. What do you think? Another little crappie, guys. Little White River crappie. Bobby Garland jig. No size limit, but this guy's under my size limit, so he's gonna go, go boom back. Oh, that's a fish, guys, yeah, another spotty. Oh, gosh, a gorgeous one. Oh, he's got a mouthful of, dude, he's got a baby channel down his throat. No shit, and I got it on video, he has got, Oh, baby channel catfish in his throat, guys. That's so cool. Dude. Get out, guys. This moth was just floating in the water, and he's really pretty. But he was still alive. He's still jumping. That water's got to be cold. He was out on his last leg. So I got him out. I'm going to have him sun down on this rock. As soon as the sun hit him, he was flicking. So I'm going to get out of his sun. Let him do his thing. Well, a worm rod got taken down a second ago, and it's pretty well, pretty sure it was a sturgeon because it just it cut my six pound mono like it was nothing. It wasn't a big fish. I was trying to be a channel kitty cat, and he, he smoked those worms. It wasn't out there very long. That's what I'm saying. Put it out there, maybe a big old spot will come up me because that spot had a one in its belly. Anyways, I'm gonna let him go. Unless you want a catfish nugget? Nah. nah. Later, dude. Oh, that's a good fish. There we go. That's better. So a much better spot. Pretty little guy. Bam. Out there in the stick piles. Oh, lost him. Take my drag up on that one. guys oh he's running at me again I think it's another Asian guys 
Another silver big head motor on Milwaukee. There we go. Oh, it's pulled back. Oh, he ain't acting like an Asian. Maybe it's a paddlefish. Still ain't fighting like an Asian. He's doing some weird stuff. I don't know what it is, but I've seen it. Are you gonna start fighting like an Asian now? No? What do you think it is, guys? It's another Asian. It's another Asian car! Another one right with us. Oh! All right, guys. So this fish here is the silver carp. These are your flying carp, your Asian carp, the carp that knock people out of their boats. This is a relatively small one. He's probably uh, 10, 15 pounds. They are plankton feeders, and what these guys are doing is just destroying our plankton populations. And it's killing off stuff for our paddlefish. It's killing off all the plankton for all of our eaters, all of our shad that have to eat the plankton that the bass eat these guys are the problem for our diminishing fisheries so snagging these guys and euthanizing them is okay and it is really recommended by the state and uh there's not much good use to them some people eat them some people fertilize them some people use them for a catfish bait which is what i'm likely to do but uh regardless kill these fish leave them around at least the raccoons get to eat you know so uh, not much for killing stuff without a purpose but i guess there's a purpose Oh, yeah, hung up is what I got right there, guys. There he is, guys. It's something different. Something different. It's probably a buffalo. Oh, no, don't run me into that. It's a paddlefish. It's a freaking paddlefish. It is a paddlefish, guys. I'm so stoked. Looks like the perfect eating size paddle, too. Oh, lordy woody. It's caught in the mouth. Does that count as fair? Look you there, guys. Now that is a good eating fish. He is very small, but unfortunately when you snag one of these guys, you can't let them go. You have to harvest them. And when you catch two, you gotta be done snagging for the day. And that's what the law is for the state. Get some better shots for this guy here. So <laughs> that is a spoonbill, the paddlefish. These are also filter feeders. These are the reason we're getting rid of these Asian carp. And that little guy right there, perfect eater. All the way through, these guys are like the chicken of the river. I love them. They have all these sensory nodes running through their paddle all the way down the side of their face and their gills all that right there so they're all sensory that's how they find that plankton that's how they find out what's going on that's how they know where the water flow is it just that's how their life depends on it's just that little sonar all that stuff they got going on so it makes them special <laughs> all right back to it i'm gonna try to see if there's anything over there on that bank that the paddle fish was on she was way over there There he is, guys. Oh, he came off. Nope, nothing on the second.
Oh, I hit them again, guys. Oh, goodness gracious. I think I found where they are. Oh, shit, the bed. You all right, bud? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's running. Yeah, that was a good run. It's another Asian. Might be a big head. Oh, yep, he's over the 30 pound mark. Take the worst landing spot. It's all two inches deep over here, and I can't drag him over that. Big. Oh, he just came off. That was like sixty pounds. Yeah, I get him again. There he is. I see him too. Oh, instantly. Let's give me another paddle for this a bit. Hope not. It is. I can feel him thumping my line. What in the world? No, it's not. Is that a boat fin? Oh, he came off too. All right, back to it. Let's see if we can hit that 60 pound big head we had a second ago. There he is too. Use that 60 pound big head. I don't know what it is. And an Asian carpo. Oh, calm down. You ain't that big. What do you think it is, guys? Feels like another paddlefish. Might be a small Asian or a buffalo. Small Asian. No, buffalo. You want a buffalo? Right there is a big mouth buffalo carp, guys. We got three species of buffalo carp in the state of Arkansas. We have smallmouth buffalo, bigmouth buffalo, and black buffalo. They are close to, more closely related to a sucker than a carp, because mostly carp are vegetarians. These guys are a bit carnivorous. They like worms and stuff, so that's some good ribs right there. Let's get back on it. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's running at me fast. Oh, he just came off. Oh, he's still there. Nope. He's just running that fast. He's big. Oh, 
Holy shit. I think we got that 60 again, guys. A little lighter with it so that hook don't tear. He took me out to freaking Narnia. He's gone. He's out there. I don't think he's 60 pounds, though. Might be a different one with a lot of hot shot in him. It is another Asian carp though, and of size, about another 20, 15 to 20 here. There's another big old silver. No big heads yet. Hopefully we get one. All right, let's see if we can get another. Who needs a gym when you can just do this all day, guys? Ah, I hooked myself. There we go. There he is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, motherfucker. Oh. He's out there. Oh, he's running. He's running out of foot. Now he turned. Now he's running out of skin. Oh, he's running, he's running at us. Yeah, stay pinned. <laughs> I got carp slime in my mustache, guys. It tastes great. There's some big ones moving out there too. I've seen where they're stationed at. Oh, don't go towards the cypress. Still ain't know what this guy is. He's another agent. Get out of that stick. Get out of the stick, thank God. Another small silver. Oh, I love these fish because they got a perfect little handle for their tail. Just pick them right up, drop them down, pop the hook out. Oh, don't flip, don't flip. Another big old Asian carp, probably 10, 15. Ooh. 
He's like, good spot. Still oh, got him, guys. Oh, oh, he's taking off out there. Oh, he's running at me fast. I'm about to fall over on myself. Yeah, I mean, I got some buffalo and some paddlefish. And an Asian carp. Those are no good. They're just fun. I get paddlefish out here sometimes. I only keep two of them though, and I've got one, so if I catch another one, I gotta be done with this. You have any use for those carp except the buffalo? No? I don't like killing them and leaving them, even though they're invasive and shit. I ain't gonna eat them. I cleaned one for catfish bait one time. I'm never doing that again. It smells so bad on the inside. Yeah, I busted its gut. <laughs> Do you? My buddy said he just got a, a recipe book that one of his uh, subscribers sent to him. And he said, uh, yeah, see, I'm from Memphis. I grew up on the Mississippi. And I remember hearing about him coming in, jumping in people's boats and shit. Yeah, out here. A little red, they're up in the red. They're in the white. I lived in Russellville. I caught one there that was about 80 pounds. No, nope. good footage. This one might be a big head instead of the silver. His tail looked a little funky. Nope, he's a silver. All about 15 pounds. Something like that. That's a little smaller. It'd be nice to find a stranded flathead out here. I've caught little ones, but I ain't caught no big ones out here. Here, those are good to eat. Really good. They fly up like a bass. They got like one little rib cage. You cut it out. Snakehead, northern snakehead. Man, I'll throw a lot of bass lures and I'll catch a lot of bowfin and other crap in between. But every now and then I'll get a snakehead or I'll catch a snakehead doing this. And they are great. I'll go over there to Mingo after everybody been bow fishing the night before. They just throw them on the bank. And they're still half alive. I'll go down there and pick them all up. Take them home. Eat them. So snakehead are delicious. That's going to be a fish. Hit them. Golden. No, there ain't much out here. I mean, there's some crappie out here right now. No, well, he lost one just there. He goes nice. Uh, I caught a crappie over there at Taylor's Bay in the river a minute ago. The spotted bass. Man, I expected that. Be a fish. Where at? In Mississippi? Uh, which lake? Grenada. Now, oh, I know where Grenada is. I spent a lot of time on Sardis. Right on it is. I found this reel on the bank at Dardanelle, and this reel is dope. Yeah. Oh! That's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't running like the Asian carp, though. Gonna be a... I like catching now he's running. He's running at me. There he goes. They run like a striper too. At least they're good to eat, you know what I mean? Yup. I like them strikers. The VFW, I'll catch them down there when the water's running. 
Do what? I caught some brim, pretty nice brim at the pipe. We're using some buffalo. I haven't seen any there this year though. Yup, uh, I caught him at Dardanelle. It's pretty thick. Ooh, come on. Oh, he's turning. Don't turn. I think one's a dude. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh, there's a swirl. What are you? Show yourself. Yup. They're <laughs> right here. Oh, don't you do it, don't you do it. Oh. Another one out of the water, guys. That's just one more fish out the river. Yeah. Big asshole. Oh, man. How you guys doing? I hope y'all really enjoyed the video today. I probably shouldn't be driving and doing my outro, but I'm going to say I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, I hope we put a big old dent in the population of Asian carp and the invasive species we have here because we don't need them no more. They're fun to catch, but they're no good to eat and they're tearing up our plankton. Screw that. Thank you guys for watching so much. I hope y'all have the bestest day ever. Have a happy Thanksgiving this week. I might get another video out before or after. I don't know. Just uh, have a good time, guys. Get out there and fish. Hunt. Enjoy nature because...